Good morning, family. The word of God is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our paths. Here is your morning manna for today. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 57. But thanks be to God, who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Brother and sister, life and death are in the power of the tongue. So it is important that we speak life over ourselves, family, and circumstances. Now, if you remember yesterday, we called it our Miracle Monday. Allow every Monday to be your Miracle Monday. Take hold of the week and look forward to it rather than have, having the Monday blues. Well, in continuation of that, I was thinking we can have Thanksgiving today and just thank God. Thank God for everything in our lives. If brother and sister, we were to write down all the things that God has blessed us with, our list would be long, starting from waking us up this morning, giving us another day, blessing us with health, having a roof over our heads, so many things. You know, the enemy, he tries to creep in and he wants us not to be thankful. He wants us to be dissatisfied. But I encourage you, brother and sister, to be encouraged. Have thanksgiving. Have gratitude for everything God has blessed you with. And you know what? If you're going through a hard time, think right now of all the times God has gotten you through some tough times. And I tell you what, you will look forward to God getting you out of this circumstance because he will. If you put your trust and your faith in him, have thanksgiving, remember and recall all that he's brought you through. Oh, you will have the spirit of joy. You will raise your hands and you will start praising the Lord because God is good. He is good. So again, today, let's just have that spirit of thanksgiving. Have that spirit of gratitude. And yes, let's have it every day. But we're going to focus on some scriptures today to encourage us. Let's meditate on the scriptures that I'm going to read to you. Just think about it. Let it settle in your mind and in your heart. Take hold of it, okay? Because the word of God is powerful. So let's start with this verse. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. And whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. I will praise you, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will tell of all your marvelous works. Make a joyful shout to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name for the Lord is good. 
His mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. Oh, I hope these scriptures gave you joy today. I know they encourage my soul. Amen. And so I just read you 1 Chronicles 16.34, Colossians 3.17, 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18, Psalm 9, verse 1, and Psalm 100. And here is a promise from God about you. Always remember Psalm 84, 11. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. And if you've been blessed by this devotional, feel free to subscribe and join this family. Come here every weekday morning to be encouraged with God's word. Have a victorious day in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, family.